Hi Andrew, I'm Rebecca, and I've always been a big fan of everyone on YouTube, and I've never gotten up the courage to actually try it out, and I thought it could be a really cool way to record your life. Um, I've always wanted to try it, but never have gotten the guts. This camera itself is really intimidating right now. It probably takes a while to get used to it. So anyway, here I am. I thought that I'd start off with something simple, like a response video. Um, and I had a couple ideas for your wall. So I have a feeling that YouTube is a big part of your life, and I thought that it would be great to represent that in some way. One of my favorite videos that you made was, um, Andrew plus Cat. And the great thing about that story is that you get to look back on it and see how much you've developed. I know that I love to look at back at my um, other artworks that I've done as a kid because it's really cool to see how much I've developed. And so that kind of inspired me to do my own kind of project where I kind of mimed what I did as a child and like from when I was three, I'll show you the picture. Come on. Okay, so the lighting in this room sucks. Okay, so grade, well, three months old, grade three, and 13. Couldn't draw faces yet, wasn't that good. Kind of out of proportion too, but still. So that's kind of my idea. You could do it with your cats and your mountains. I think that you should draw two mountains on your wall, and the first mountain should just be a simple triangle, like the one that you drew in your story that you made and um, the second one could be a more developed mountain like your very best mountain that you could possibly draw now and then the first one on the first mountain could be the simple cat that you drew in your book and then the second one could be a more developed drawing of a cat like the best drawing you can do of your cat right now and I think that'll be a great way to show the progress you've made as an artist and also it's a fun way to just remember that cool story that you wrote. It's a pretty funny memory. Um, yeah, I think that's what you should put on your wall. Another thing to keep in mind that I really liked about your wall so far is how you just did the chunky silhouettes. Um, I think that if you keep that kind of chunky theme of just bold pigments of color, no shading, and with the blended background, I think it looks really neat like that. So I think you should continue that and keep up the chunkiness of the drawings. P.S. I love your show. Keep up the videos.